Integrative Inquiry, Week 13, Visioning and Prioritizing the Dream Goals. Attention to rest on the feet on the floor. Seat in the chair. Back upright, alert, yet relaxed. Noticing where your hands are placed. And gently softening the eyes. And bringing a gentle awareness to rest on the breath sensation in the body. You are here. You intended to be here. You have arrived here. I am grateful. Then whenever you're ready, gently invite your attention back to the screen in front of you. Thank you. So we are going to borrow exercises from the Life Mastery Institute with Mary Morrissey. And the invitation here is to do some visioning. What do you wanna be, do, or create the three years from now? What do you wanna be, do, or create three years from now? That could be become as a leader, become in your life. <clears throat> What do you want to be, do, or create three years from now? Just notice what you're noticing when I ask that question. Notice emotions or feelings, bodily sensations, thoughts. What are you noticing? And when I ask this question again, see if you can get really playful curious. We're bringing our mindful practice to this. Playfully curious, with lots of kindness, suspending judgment, loading that judgment up in that helium balloon, that yum and yuck of it, whatever you're noticing. What do you want to be, do, create three years from now? We're just tuning up the awareness and just whatever you're noticing that arises from asking that question. What do you want to be? do or create four years from now. You can stay with three if you'd like, you can do two, you can do one, you can choose the number of years, it doesn't matter. Just what do you notice? What do you notice? Now as you're allowing yourself to just envision your life one, two, three or four years from now, let's get really holistic about it. So take a moment and just imagine what you'd like to be or do create with your vocation, your career. What would you like to be, do, or create with your vocation or career? What would you like to be, do, or create with your family and friends? Maybe there's a specific experience you want to have with them. And what would you like to be, do, create with your health, your spirituality, your overall well-being? Is there an area of your life that you'd like to tune up? And then how about your time and money freedom? What would you like to be, do, or create with your freedom for your time, how you invest your time, and how you invest your money? What would you like to be, do, or create one, two, three, or four years from now? You choose the number. But the invitation is to think holistically. And here's why. A while ago, a long while ago, I had chosen a career where I wanted to be a vice president. 
I wanted to be a vice president of student affairs. And I invested a lot of energy into that career goal. And what happened was, I disrupted family stuff, I disrupted health stuff, I disrupted uh, time freedom <laughs> because everything was focused on that. So when I got to a point where the opportunity um, for an associate vice president's position was uh, made available, I realized uh, this was creating a life um, a one-thronged vision of life. And there were so many other aspects of my life that were being ignored and I wasn't happy. So in our visioning our, for our life, your leadership role here at San Diego State is one prong. So as you think about what you wanna be, do or create there, also integrate family and friends, health, spirituality, and overall well-being, and your time and money freedom. What this does is it begins to empower choice and where we allocate, invest our time. Does that make sense? And as you, um, so of course I know I'm going really fast through this, so you can re-view re, uh, this video and, and take time with this and and the invitation will be to journal your responses. So your journal your responses for each area. Um, and then once you've journaled your responses, what do you really want to be, do, or create one, two, three, or four years from now? Test that vision. Ask, is it something you would love? Like, does it really bring you alive? Is it something you would love or is it something somebody else would love? Yes, yes, yes. I cannot see heads nodding, right? When people are saying, you know what I would love if you would do this, right? No, no, what would you love? What brings you alive? Where we, what requires you to grow? Because if it's something already within reach, it's not requiring you to grow. I'm not sure if it's really bringing you alive. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. That only you know, only you know. Right? This is your vision. You don't have to share this with anyone, okay? But what aligns with your core values? What way of being, doing, creating aligns with your core values? And if you're struggling with your core values, again, we have some values exercises uh, on the, the learning management system that you can engage in, okay? Or if you wanna check your core values. It's important that your vision for what you wanna be, do, or create aligns with your core values. And that it brings good to others good to yourself and good to others. And this is important. We talked about this last week, but it's really important. It brings good to you and to others. It's not going to harm you or harm others. And what requires trust in the life force that's breathing you? What, what is she going all wacky on me for? No, no. Okay, are you breathing right now? How do you know? You weren't making yourself breathe, were you? There's a life force in you that breathes. It breathes. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to make it breathe. It just breathes. That's the life force I'm inviting you to trust. It's the life force that lives in the known, not the I don't know. So allow yourself to vision, allow yourself to be creative. Because again, if we don't allow ourselves to vision or be creative, we'll stay in what is known. And we won't be able to create the unknown. So the invitation that I'll be asking you to do is start from a place we've been practicing seeping in the gratitude. We've been practicing just gratitude for arriving to these webinars, each webinar. So the invitation as you write out your vision is to, to start from a place of, I'm so happy and grateful now that. So imagine yourself in that place in the future and be very, very specific. This is important. Mary Morrissey's in my ear. Be very, very specific. Don't say, I'm so grateful now that I'm only working 40 hours a week and I have more time with my family. No, be, be very, 40 hours a week is great. That's pretty specific, but what hours a day? What are you doing with your family? What specifically, what's bringing you alive? What's bringing you joy? Just allow yourself to dream. You can journal as much as you'd like. 
set a timer for two minutes, write whatever comes. And I also invite you to make sure you've covered the four areas, the time and money freedom, vocation, health and well-being, friends and family, okay? So why do we need a vision for our life? Oh, because life happens anyway. So <laughs> invite yourself to give yourself a little treat and imagine what you'd like your life to be like four years from now, or one, two, or three, four years. It's also incredibly important for um, success, at least for our undergraduate and graduate students. If they don't have a positive vision of their future self for them, they may be less likely to graduate, right? So positive future self, holding a positive future self guides our daily decisions. And we'll work more of, with this in our in, in class portion, okay? But basically, what we've been inviting in is a lot of tuning up our awareness, right? So we'll either notice a feeling and then we'll notice an action or a choice. Remember, emotions play a role in decision-making, whether you're aware of them or not. So there might be a feeling, you might have a choice. I'm hungry, go eat. Right? The result is I'm full or I overate. That creates a memory. Oh, and the thought. Oh, I better be eat before I get really hungry because when I get really hungry, a feeling, I overeat and the result is I feel uncomfortable. And then, oh, I have that memory of that. That's icky. So I better, right? It starts, this is our formula for our choices. It's the formula for our life. This is our life. Moment to moment choices create our life. This is why bringing a gentle, kind attention to what's happening right here, looking again, suspending the yamanyak of it, seeing what's possible, may create a different life results formula by tuning up awareness in the moment to moment where the choices are made. Isn't that fun? So <clears throat> what helps tune up our awareness? That stop, um, the SBNRR practice, or you can just hold up the stop sign, right? Stop, take a breath, stop, breathe. Notice, what are you noticing? What's possible here? Who would you be, what would you do if you thought that thought wasn't true? Who would you be, what would you do if you thought it was true? What choice would you like to make? So the invitation, just give yourself a luxury of, of journaling. What would you really like to do, be, or create one, two, three, or four years from now? Test what you've journaled on. Really test it. I mean, I really want it to be uh, a vision that you love, not somebody else love, that brings you alive, that requires you to grow, that aligns with your core values, that brings good to you and others. So all responses must be a yes, requires you to trust the life force that's breathing you. And the encouragement, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. And so do you. So journal. I keep splitting back and forth on it three or four years from now, you choose. It could be one year, it could be two years. It's up to you. Journal. We'll play with this in class. Remember that awareness can interrupt habitual patterns in our life. However, we must act on that awareness. So awareness itself will just be like, oh, yep, there I go again, eating that bag of M&Ms when I get stressed. Now that I'm aware of that, what would I like to do differently? No longer buy M&Ms. And the positive future, if we can envision the positive future, then, or the positive self as a leader, the positive self as a family or friend, the positive self as um, in time and money freedom, the positive overall well-being self. If we can allow ourselves to envision it, then in the moment we can begin to cultivate awareness and say, will this choice contribute to that vision or draw me away? Will this choice contribute to that vision or draw me away? Yes. Holistic visions are sustainable one moment at a time. And these are the practices. So we'll play some more in class. Questions, comments, thoughts, give me a holler. 
not connect with your buddy, you might want to play with this. You might want to share your vision with your buddy. You don't have to. Your vision can be your own. You can keep it your own, no problem. But what I'd invite you to do is um, uh, chat with your buddy about what you're noticing from this webinar. Um, practice your focused breathing, practice the SBNRR stop, practice the compassion, and refine your uh, vision and um, schedule in some action steps if you notice something, like um, scheduling in some time to go to the gym or yoga practice or sleep or whatever. Okay, there's a two minute journal for you assignment, which will help you with this assignment, and then there's a, a weekly poem. All right, I look forward to seeing you very soon. Thank you for your time.